Under inflation, you will come across two very important concepts, base effect and base year. What is the meaning and difference between both of them? Let me explain in this episode of Dal Roti Economics. Let's assume we are talking about consumer price index. The basket for CPI has 299 goods and services and the base year for the calculation is 2012. Let's say in the year 2012, for the basket, I will have to pay 500 rupees. In the last financial year, the prices have increased, I will have to pay 600 rupees. And in the current financial year, the prices have further increased, I am paying 660 rupees. How do I use this to calculate inflation? Let's start. Whatever is the price for the basket in the base year, we will equate to 100 and this is called as indexation. If 500 is equal to 100, then 600 will be equivalent to how much? You are absolutely right, 120. In the same way, if 500 is equal to 100, then 660 will be equivalent to how much? 132. Now focus on the index number of the last financial year with this financial year. 120, 132. Can I simply say the index numbers have increased by 10%. This is how the base year prices are used to calculate inflation. Now what is base effect here? Let's say last year, which we are using as a reference point to calculate what is the price changes in this financial year. Last year, there was too much of rainfall. And because there is a too much of rainfall, the supply would be lesser. And because the supply would be lesser, the market prices would be much higher. As a result of this, the price for the basket last year was not 600, would have become 620. Now tell me, when the basket price in the previous financial year is abnormally very high, will it have an impact on inflation percentage calculated for the current financial year? Of course, yes. What if there is a too much of supply? If there was too much of supply, the price for the basket would be 520. Will this again influence what is the percentage inflation rate for the current financial year? Answer is yes. So this is basically the concept of base year as well as the base effect in the context of GDP and inflation. For more such interesting content, subscribe to our YouTube channel now.